Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Yeah, I think I know where that is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back into Lake. We are on to Saturday morning, which I guess we still have to work. I guess we're just gonna be working through maybe the entire week. Maybe we get Sundays off. Who knows? Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. We have a lot of letters and only two parcels. Uh, one of them is right up here that's the 104 and then the other one is over by our house i think but yeah let's go ahead let's get cracking get our mail delivery done i hope you're all having oh i pressed triangle by accident i hope you're all having an awesome day um uh, now that they've added a triangle Foreman button PO. how oh. about a pet peeve to start the weekend give me a pet peeve a positive tina banks has the answer Positive or Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard, but why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? <laughs> I like the idea, Tina. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. A few clouds, but nothing but sunny skies in the end. Interesting. Well, you know what? I don't know if I'd call that a pet peeve more as... Or more so than, like, a want. I went to the wrong house. <laughs> but yeah, now that we have the triangle button for the camera in this game, uh, unfortunately, uh, the other game I'm playing right now, my time at Sandrock, uh, the main interact button is triangle, so I'm going to be walking up to, like, you know, mailboxes and the, and the goose, uh, trying to press triangle or Y or, like, you know, the top button on everything <laughs> it's okay we'll get through it together but i hope everyone's having a great day i'm not exactly sure when these are all going to be uploaded i've made maybe a bit more of a promise to myself when it comes to a series like this um and fall of porcupine and epic mickey that i would finish recording it fully before i even start uploading just because i have a nasty habit of falling off track um, and forgetting what I was doing. Uh, and this does keep me motivated. It makes me want to get the series done. I think that's this one here. Um, so I'm not sure when exactly these are going to be going up. But what I do know is currently, IRL for me, we've had the Game Awards. Am I just going to the wrong one? Really? Is it really this one up here? That seems so weird. No, see, look at how far ahead I am. No. Okay, is there... Is... Oh. Oh, it's this little house right here. Okay, got you. Um, yeah, currently, Game Award nominees have been announced. I know Alan Wake 2 is on there. I know Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2, Tears of the Kingdom. I think Super Mario 1. Wait. Oh, it's the packet! Oh my god, okay, okay. This is why I shouldn't be talking and doing anything else. I can't focus on that much. I think it was this one. <laughs> oh my god. I would have sat there for like the longest time just rambling before I had noticed that it it, it was a package. <laughs> um, but anyway, my question of the day for today is uh, what is your game of the year personally for you? Has to have been something that came out this year. Or late, late last year. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. There you go. Again, so much nicer than my Amazon drivers. They'd be throwing my mail. Or my packages. Okay, we have another one just beyond the store here. I'm probably just going to do a big old loop around for it. But yeah, I think in terms of my personal- oh god, I didn't do that. 
In terms of my personal game of the year, uh, my time at Sam Rock is very, very high up there, but it's also contending Final Fantasy 16, which I waited a very long time for, and an even longer time waited for Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life, and I think, to be honest, that might be my personal game of the year. I know it's probably not very high on, on you know, many other people's lists. There's, there's the core fans, of course. Um, but I waited so long, and I never thought it would happen, and then it did, and it was just a lot of feelings, and it was great. So I think that would be mine. Um, but what is yours? Okay, um, so what's this all about? Deliver letter to the campground, okay. Um, we also... You know what? I think I might go around. We're gonna do a nice big old scenic drive. I zoomed in. There we go. Nice big old scenic drive. Enjoy the music. Enjoy the kind of ambience of this game. Now, exciting news. I think I mentioned it previously, I believe, but there is a DLC, I believe, coming out for this game, uh, taking place in winter, and I don't think you play as Meredith. I do think you play as her dad. Uh, I'm really, really hoping I might be able to get my hands on a copy for that, because I think this would be a really cute upload for, like, November, if I could finish it in time. <laughs> and then the winter one would be perfect for December, but we'll see if I get lucky. Okay, I'm behind people who actually know how to drive and actually stop at stop signs. Um, I guess I gotta drive nice. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'll lose them up here at the diner. Maybe they'll go the other way. No? Are you- oh, okay, yeah. I guess we're going the same way. I really like how even, like, you know, the, the road top here is cracked. You can see some, like, imperfections in the painted lines. It's very pretty. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta take some more pictures. I don't know if I need to take 12 for that to trigger for me to go and like develop them oh maybe the farm that's cute right there we go i kind of almost like it, it's i'm pretty sure it's like fall oh god hi sorry sorry i can't remember no, it is fall. Because I think it's early September right now, actually, because they had a Labor Day party, I think, at the beginning of this game, uh, which would make it... Actually, wait. I have the date. I have that journal. It is September. Okay. Good job, me. Um, so early September. I almost wish they had pushed this into, like, October, like, maybe Thanksgiving-ish. Um... Because, like, imagine all the trees around here. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry about it, it's fine. It's fine. You guys are watching content of the most scuffed mail delivery driver you have ever seen. I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. Hello. I have mail for you, apparently. Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? Uh, to both. Here you go. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. <laughs> Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you too. Woo! <laughs> Woo! What kind of paper? What kind of paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Oh. That kind of paper. <gasps> ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. Oh no, that sounds like, did you steal it? Oh my god, no. So, are you guys on vacation? Sort of. 
Although, I guess you need a job for a vacation. Joan! Can you get in here, please? Now? Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? Okay, yeah, I'm glad I didn't ask that other question, because, like, I think I overthink things sometimes, but, like, you could see that as, like, do you steal? Like, do you own this? You know? Sometimes I, I probably shouldn't think this hard on things. It's probably not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna, like, awkwardly back up here. Don't mind me. You guys do your... Oh, God. You guys do your thing. Don't mind me. There we go. <laughs> you would almost think I was the one partaking in it. Okay, so... I guess none of that was legal back then, huh? Oh, uh, I don't know about the US at least, but I know it's only recently been legalized. <laughs> like I say recently, in the last decade, been legalized here. And even then, there's still a lot of, like, stipulations and stuff. Have I ever done the full- oh no, I did, I think. Did I do the full, full loop? I must have. Yes, I remember- I remember this motel, I remember the rude kid in there, I didn't like him. I did not like him at all. Oh, it was a big truck? I don't think we had seen a big truck like that yet. Very quickly here. Uh, okay, it looks like we're going to be taking a bit of an off-road path here. Or not so off-road? No, never mind. It is off-road. <laughs> oh, please ignore that. <laughs> You did not see that. Ah, oh, man, I have my switch set up to not have notifications pop up. Uh, I'm sorry, is this just a mailbox? Oh no, there is a, there is a place over there. Okay, that was a little weird. Here's your mail. Meredith, sweetheart, that didn't even go in. All right, well, um, but yeah, you can set your switch so it doesn't have pop-up notifications of like people going online and things happening and such. I don't know how to set that up for the PS5. There probably are ways and means, but haven't really bothered looking into it quite yet. There we go. Look, I'm getting better. Okay, so our next stop is, I think that might be Lumberjack Guy. I can't remember his name. I think that might be him, and I know things were kind of awkward with us last time. We went to the diner with him, and then I, I think I said something dumb, and then he's like, all right, well, I gotta go work on the roof, and I'm like, okay. And it, it was just very impromptu, or um, not impromptu, what's the word? Sudden. Sudden is the word I'm thinking of. Where's my radio? There we go. I was like, it was very quiet, wasn't it? Let's listen to the radio. I definitely didn't almost hit that post. Man, you have such a nice little house back here, dude. Like, you got a waterfall behind your house. How much would this cost these days? Hi, Robert. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um, sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Well, leaking roofs don't fix themselves. No problem. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Um... 
I get that. I respect that, dude. I don't want to encroach, you know, or, or impose. Uh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Cool. Thanks. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Wild card plan? Wild card plan. Yes. Also, highly confidential. Oh, come on. I won't tell a soul. Yeah, but no. Maybe later. It's still work in progress. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. Okay, I think that went a lot better. A little bit of playful banter. You know, not being rude about him being weird. Like, that's fair. I'm, I'm weird. I don't like being with people for too long. Unless they're my people. Does that make sense? I'm accustomed to my people. Um, okay, so I think we're gonna go actually back out the way we came. Across the Beetlejuice Bridge. Oh, I didn't just like that. <laughs> and we're gonna take the, the main run across here. I think we're gonna go see Lori. I think we're picking up her movie box. Okay, VCR in a box. <laughs> But no, I get that. I get Robert. Even with people who I enjoy their company, sometimes you just need space and peace and quiet and to be around people. Okay, here, let me kind of angle myself so I'm better when we're leaving. Lori, how did you enjoy Nightmare on Elm Street? I have actually never seen that movie. Hey, Lori, did you watch The Love Bug? Oh, hey, wait, w. forgot. Yes, I did, and I guess I liked it. Okay, good. I completely forgot that we we are gonna watch it with her on Sunday. You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. Can't wait! Me neither. See you then. I didn't want to try to use her... Um, like, her generation's slang. It, even, it may not even be hers for all I know. I have no idea what kids in the 80s were saying. I wasn't born yet. Um, but... I, I understand that feeling of like, oh, you know, don't try to... Don't try to relate, you know? Just... just act normal. <laughs> okay, we got a couple more. Looks like we got a letter and a package. gorgeous houses in these areas. I have to admit, I can't help but think about how relatively cheap people back then probably bought them and how expensive they would be today. All this property here? Big old house like that? Okay, and then if we just go around the corner here... Oh, I'm definitely not up on the curve. You didn't see that. Oh, package. See, look, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. It's not like yesterday. Uh, here you go. This is a oh, weird shape. That's heavier than I thought. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess nobody's home. So, like... I guess in a small town like this, you want to hope no one's going around stealing packages and stuff, but, like... If something was swiped off your porch like that, would we get in trouble? Uh... Did I miss a package? Oh! It's Lori's package. Okay. I was like, I I don't remember there being one back there, but okay. We get to go see my favorite person. I actually really like them. I can't remember their name. I'm really bad at names, but the girl from the movie store seems really nice. into that general store and see if I can't uh, develop the pictures we've taken but I might I might wait take a picture of the flick shack maybe it's not exactly like you know scenic per se but i still think it's kind of cool history you know even if they didn't know it back then wait where's the package right okay maybe i haven't gotten better <laughs> this one threw me off it's like not a natural package package I dropped off and picked up those movies. Right, right. Um... She doesn't seem very happy. I don't know if I should, like, mention it. I'm just gonna say it seemed positive. Maybe that'll make her happy. She seemed positive. I think this might actually work. Hmm. Well, it's better. You sound cynical. I'm sorry, it's just that business is slow and... Well, I don't really want to talk about it. Could you just pick up the two new movies and deliver them, please? Hmm. Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. Oh. Movie bestie is not in the mood for my shenanigans today. Okay, so this is going to... Oh, was this going to the fishing guy? Who helped the uh, Mortimer earlier, I think? Alright, let's go see. I was thinking it seemed like we kind of got through that really quickly. You know what? Um, the way this game saves is a little bit awkward. It saves at the beginning of a new day. Um, I haven't tried to save in the middle of the day, but either way, saves a bit weirdly. So I usually wrap recording uh, at the end of a day, and then the next day unfortunately starts off right away. So it's like I don't have a chance to save and stop in between. Um, but there was a weird cutscene with Frank there. Uh, I'm gonna make sure to include it because I was still recording, but there was a weird cutscene where we gave him that letter and like... I don't know, he just seemed kind of... Evasive? Maybe? Wait, where's the package? Yep, okay. <sighs> this entire series, I just- I usually come up with individual titles. I think it's just gonna be, wait, where's the package? For the entirety of the series. 
as it should be. Hey, buddy. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could you? Um... <laughs> I'm gonna leave him with Jaws. No problem. I'll pick the movie for you then. Yeah, you do that! Alright. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. Oh, definitely Jaws. Oh, that's gonna be so funny. I really hope he comments on it. Alrighty, so we finally have uh, finished our deliveries for today. A couple slip-ups here and there. A little bit of me not knowing what I was delivering. I'm really excited to see how you guys react to this series. It's a little bit more on the chill side. I've been enjoying these little smaller games that, like, you know, are kind of like short little experiences instead of the big, long winded playthroughs. Uh, but it's always nice to see feedback from you guys and make sure you answer my questions of the day as well. I love reading them back. Sometimes it's extra funny because I've recorded them so far in advance that I forget what I asked, and then I just see people being like, Blueberry! And I'm like, what are you on about? <laughs> uh, I, I usually do remember after a while, though. Alrighty! Let's see what we have for the end of our workday. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just, like dialed your parents number superpowers <laughs> probably just muscle memory or something like that right or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had know what i mean oh man i had that once when barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when i was like six years old and fell out of a tree and i ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face you remember that right what if it's like that with old phone numbers you go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. <laughs> <gasps> wait, wait, if I do this, do I not get to have the movie? Oh, I hope the movie's later on, because I want to talk to Kay. Oh, dear. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 2. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. 